What's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk about something I pulled out the back of my closet this weekend. Uh, I've been digging in the crates, looking at some of my old kicks, and I thought these ones were interesting. We're talking about the Adidas Original Forum SW Han Solos, also known as the Adidas Star Wars Galactic Scoundrels. These are an obvious Adidas Star Wars collabo. They're about nine to ten years old now. I've had them for a long time. and they were inspired by the Rebel Alliance General Han Solo. Uh, I picked these up at the Adidas store in Soho, New York. This was uh, certainly an impulse buy. I'm not even a big Star Wars fan, but the styling and packaging was crazy, and I'm a sucker for good packaging. These were hanging on the shelf with the cardboard backing and the injection molding plastic, and they looked like a toy. They looked like a collectible toy, and I thought that was really cool. At the time, I bought them just to wear, but I kind of wish I would have saved that packaging. These were expensive at $160, but from the looks of it, I technically could still flip these and get my money back. I'm seeing them brand new on eBay for about $400, and I'm seeing a busted pair on GOAT for $350. So in the condition these are in, I think I could definitely get at least $250 for them if I chose to sell them. Now, this isn't the only time that Adidas collaborated with Star Wars. If you Google Adidas Star Wars, you will see a ton of other collabos. I don't really like too many of the pairs I'm seeing, but a lot of them just look like standard pair of Adidas, and then they'll just throw a little Han Solo or a little Star Wars logo on it and call it a collabo. And to me, that's kind of lame. Uh, I will say that I do really like the Night Jogger R2-D2 pair. I think those are real fly. You can get them on adidas.com. I think they're still in stock for under $100. I believe they're around $91. I think that's a cool buy, and I think I think it's a very creative sneaker. It just it has a good look to it. Now, these specific pair that we're talking about today, these were made with a flight jacket theme using similar colors and materials as a military flight jacket. The whole upper and the tongue is made of a green nylon, and the laces have this weird nylon protector that unzips and holds the laces in place. It's really a fashion piece. You can wear it however you like. It's got the Adidas branding on the tag. The laces are the same military green with aglets. I really like these aglets because if you look close, you can see the little Star Wars logo on there. I think that was a nice touch. Lacing these is different. It's definitely complicated. As you can see here, the lacing it took a while to do. You could obviously do a ton of different styles. You could remove this piece altogether. I've tried that. Didn't do much for me, so I just left them on. You have the strap here with sort of laser etching. It's black leather with a orange undercoat. So when they etched it in, the orange exposes itself. Let me open these up for a second. You can see on the tongue, you have Han Solo's portrait with the Adidas logo above it. And then on the inside of the tongue, you have original Galactic Scoundrels with the Star Wars logo way inside there. And of course, the Lucasfilm trademark. At the very bottom, not sure if you could even get in there, is the Adidas Star Wars logo. Eh, you could take my word for it. This strap goes pretty much all the way around the sneaker. And on the lateral side panel of the sneaker, you see etched in orange. You have the Millennium Falcon, and then it says Original Galactic Scoundrels etched in. I think it's kind of a cool look. You can't really see it when you're walking, but it just adds another color contrast to the sneaker. You've got the signature three-stripe Adidas, Adidas on the sole. The bottom's pretty basic with the Adidas going flipped both ways. And then a super complicated tread, which I'm not really a fan of. I get it, it's got that whole space vibe to it, but everything gets stuck in these. Everything you walk on gets stuck, and and it's kind of a pain in the neck. The inside sock liner is a very, very cushioned, bright orange textile. Goes all the way throughout, very soft, very comfortable. The toe box is more nylon material. This is a very short toe box, and there's not a lot of cushion or support. These practically came creased and wrinkled. Uh, you could see it here. I mean, from day one, they pretty much, that's how they looked. And there's not much I can do with that. I tried steaming them out. It is what it is. That's just the material. It's not really the ideal sneaker material. It's meant for flight jackets, not sneakers. One of my favorite touches is this cross hatch orange stitching on the midsole. I think that's a cool look. If you cop these, just know, like I said, these are going to crease up. They 
they they lose their shape very easily it's not really you know some people like a really crisp sneaker this is not going to be it on the back here you have this rebel alliance logo being held on by this button not really sure why they even put a button there i guess it's to try out different styles with the strap but anyway it adds a little touch to it so there you have it Overall, they're a pretty cool pair of sneakers. Something different, but like with any kicks, any different pair of kicks, you have to rock them correctly. You could have the flyest pair of kicks, and if you wear them wrong, it's just not a good look. And sometimes it's vice versa. You could have a really lame pair of kicks, but if you wear them properly, it's a good look. These fall somewhere in the middle. Uh, they're not that fly, but they're also not that lame. This is something I pull out just from time to time. Another thing I'll say about these, with all the straps and the zipper and the button on the back if you wear them different sometimes they can be kind of noisy things they make a lot of noise when you're walking it's a weird thing if you don't want to be heard walking at work and everybody hears you coming down the hallway oh here comes old star wars foot but nonetheless i still like these they're definitely a lifestyle piece if i had to compare them just the fit and the comfort to another sneaker i'd say they kind of feel like a dunk that's kind of around the same vibe and the same feeling when you're wearing them they're not super comfortable they're just a chill sneaker to pull out once in a blue so that's my video another quick one just wanted to show you guys the star wars han solo Adidas, Galactic Scoundrel, whatever you want to call them. And I'll get you a few more shots on foot. And before I do so, I ask that you guys please support this channel. If any of you've watched before, you know I'm trying to build this up. A like, a comment, a sub, and a ring the bell would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, check me out on Instagram at E21Life. Always putting up shots there. If you have questions and want to see me do anything else specific, please let me know. I'm doing some instructional videos also. I'm going to show some customs. So ring that bell you'll be notified thank you again for watching and i'm um, looking forward to next time see you soon peace out